the decision Saturday night whether or not we're going to church on tomorrow morning. Amen. And we thank God for those of you in the house who made that decision. Now, when we were children, we did not have that option. There was no decision to be made. The decision was made for us. Amen. They will have anybody in the house that did not have a choice whether or not they were going to church on Sunday morning. Anybody in the house, didn't matter how late you stayed out. I'm talking you 18, 19 years old. Didn't matter how late you stayed out. If your mama was a Sunday school teacher like mine, you was going to be in Sunday school. Not a in the morning. You got your own car. You got your own uh, uh, bills that you pay, amen. At the time, you got your own pager bill, amen. Anybody used to have a pager in the house, amen, spending $10 a week to change the color of your face? Amen, in the house. Texting your best friend a 14 just to say hi. Protection of 37704 to say hello. Amen. And then you text your female friends some other things that we cannot preach about here behind the pool. Amen. But we will move on in the script of the Lord and find that the life is all life is all about the decisions that you make. That's why we have to be cognizant when it comes to a point or when we come to a crossroad when a decision may, needs to be made. Some of us in the morning, this morning alone, we made a number of decisions. We woke up and we made the decision now. Are we going to eat breakfast or are we not going to eat breakfast? And then you made the decision, do I feel like cooking or am I just going to throw some cereal in the bowl? Amen. When it came to what you're going to wear, uh, some of us had our minds made up last night what we were going to wear. The decision was already made. Some of us, uh, or some of you, ladies, amen, had a decision to wear one thing, but then by the time it was time to leave the house, you changed your outfit two or three times. Can somebody be honest and say amen? Amen. I know the struggle. I, I know the struggle. I know the struggle that when, and I'm not even talking, I'm talking about myself. I know the struggle when you go to put something on and you look in the mirror, it just doesn't look right. Or it just doesn't feel right. And you said, no, nah, it didn't work out the way that I thought it was. So you make the decision to go and change your clothes. Have you ever uh, pulled something out of the back of the closet and you noticed that the button was partially hanging off and that it probably wasn't going to make it all day, but because that's your favorite skirt or your favorite pair of pants, you put it on anyway. That was a decision that you made. You made that decision knowing that if you shouted hallelujah too loud, that button may go flying across the room. <laughs> but it was a decision that you made. Life is all about decisions. Young people, life is about decisions. When you come home from school, do I make the decision to do my homework or do I make the decision to watch Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, LA, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Compton, Riverside, what, what am I going to do when I get home with my time? A decision has to be made. A decision is going to be made uh, when it comes to Bible study on Tuesday night. Who's coming and who's going? When it comes to choir rehearsal on Wednesday, who's coming and who's going? When you wake up for work in the morning, how many of you wake up and say, Lord, I really don't feel like going. I got PTO, I got time off, I can go and call in and I want to. Amen. We make the decision every day because life is about decisions. We make the decision in the daytime what we are going to eat. Now, uh, at the beginning of the year, we're all going to make a decision to do better. Amen. We're going to lay off the fried foods. We're going to lay off all the pecan pie and the crazy and the German chocolate cake. We're going to, everybody's going to make that. No? Okay, some of us are not. <laughs> But every new year, we seem to make some decisions in our, in our mind of what we want to do. Why? Because we know that they're beneficial for us. Now, the time comes when uh, it's January, December. You said you was going to do better. January 1st come, and you said you was going to change your eating habits. But you forgot we got to go to dinner's house. Uh, that's right. Do I partake in the gumbo? Do I partake in the jambalaya? Uh -huh. The ribs, all of the desserts that the wonderful people of God have made. Do I partake? We had a wonderful men's fellowship yesterday, and I had to make the decision. Am I going to eat this brisket and this, this, these, these links and this fried chicken? I said I was done with fried food for the month of November. I had to make a decision, and my decision was to have four pieces. <laughs> Decision, amen. Let us move on. We find ourselves in the midst of decision making, and, and we just came through a week of where we had to go.
vote, amen. And some of us made the decision not to vote. We decided not to exercise a right that was died for. We decided not to exercise a right that people were uh, mutilated for. We decided not to do so. Why? Because some of us have the mindset that it doesn't work anyway. It doesn't matter. Your great, 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 grandmother and your great, great, great grandfather laid down their life so that you can have the right to step into a polling booth without being called something less than what you are. So take advantage of the liberties that are now being allotted to us. Can I get an amen in the house? Hallelujah. Take advantage of these things. You may, yes, we know these are crooked. Yeah, we know these may be rigged, but big, great, great, great mama, big mama Jones, she walked down the street for miles and she made the decision to lay down her life for a decision. Thank <laughs> you. 